So let's go up the ladder, so to speak, of hierarchy. Let's talk about organizations, you know, organisms, uh, corporations, and they also have reactions and responses to changes. What are some of those ranges of reaction and response that a corporation hits as, a, as an organization? Yeah. And what are the characteristics of organizations that will thrive through change and or ambiguity as well? I think, um, yeah, that's a great, great point and a great, great question. You know, and I've worked at companies in the late stages of maturity to the point where they went out of existence and all the way to companies that were pre-IPO startups that weren't, you know, th their, their future was not assured and then every place in, uh, you know, in between. Um, and I think part of it depends on where you are in your life cycle, of course, but I also think that there are some common elements. And I think one is, you know, the pursuit of excellence, right? And not just the pursuit of profit or the pursuit of stockholder satisfaction, but the pursuit of excellence, I think, is really important. I think humility is incredibly important. And, you know, the fact that you're successful today doesn't mean that you are immune to disruption or that your business couldn't change substantially or go away in the future. And, you know, I know of a local company, a quite successful local company here in the Boston area. You know them as well, although I don't know if you know who they are. They actually have a group chartered by the CEO that works separate from the rest of the company to figure out how would you put us out of business? If you were to start a business to disrupt us, company X, what would you do to put us out of business? And I think history is littered with companies who thought that they were bulletproof or who believed in their genius because of success that they had at one point and they weren't humble or thoughtful enough about growing and evolving and changing. And there are very few companies left in America that look like they looked when they started. Um, and, and, and I think it's incredibly important to be humble and curious and to continue to pursue and innovate, not just rest on your laurels and not just try to maximize your pay or your stockholder brand. Those are all important, of course, and no one would argue that, but what leads? And what's the most important? I think those things in my career have been have manifested themselves in the companies that are really good.